The Homestead's Tower is a landmark here in Cumberland County. Look at that beautiful stone. Inside is a museum that showcases what happened here in the 1930s. There's also an auxiliary museum that is an actual Homestead house. I'm a third generation homesteader. My grandparents moved here in 1934, and um, I've grown up here in the homesteads my entire life. My um, parents were raised in the homesteads. Uh, my grandparents had nine children, and um, I attended school at the homestead and have children that attend there now, so it's very, very passionate about the area. You grew up with your grand grandmother telling you about life on the homestead, and she had a nice story about when they got their house. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, whenever they were able to have the deed to their house, so they owned it free and clear, they would um, dress up. They dressed up in their Sunday clothes, and they all came in to pick up the deed to their house. So that was probably the proudest moment in her life. The house we're in right now is reserved from those houses in the 1930s. Just describe what it's like, what makes it a distinct home. Well, there were 13 different floor plans for these homestead homes, but they were all had the general same direction and appeal. They all have hardwood floors. There's wood paneling on all of the walls. These were some of the first homes in Cumberland County to have indoor plumbing. Um, they were also wired for electricity, even though it was several years before electricity was hooked up in the area. The Tower Museum, what will people learn when they visit the museum? Well, um, it's a water tower, so that's one of the main attractions. There's 97 steps up a spiral staircase to the top, and it's a beautiful view out over the area. Um, there's several artifacts of the homestead time. You can see lots of the history. There's pictures of the families, um, so you can see some of the original families, and a lot of the day-to-day um, -day, um, furnishings that they had, um, corn sack dresses and um, a lot of handmade furniture, so it's, it's very interesting. In 2015, why do you think it's important for us to remember those people and what they did in the 30s? Well, I think that it shows how important hard work is. And they were so proud of everything that they had. They didn't want to hand out. They were looking to work hard and to have something. And that shows something that we can all work on today. Kelly Cox, thank you so much for your insight. And you can see a live webcam with a view from the top of the Homesteads Towers. Just go to their website, which is cumberlandhomesteads.org.